You know, the problem with monstrously large turds is that no matter how hard you try to hold them back, sooner or later, you're gonna have to shit them out. <laughs> I have famously huge turds! Which brings me neatly along to the subject of today's video, the release of the first actual full trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a movie scheduled to release in less than two months, and if the internet rumours are to be believed, is still undergoing extensive of reshoots and re-edits, with no less than six different endings played before test audiences. The concluding movie in a trilogy that stumbled from episode to episode, with all the grace and forward thinking of me after ten pints of Skull Splitter. <laughs> headed up by a man who probably couldn't finish a tuna sandwich if his life depended on it. The first teaser trailer for Rise of Skywalker was the tedious shot of Rey standing around in a desert for what seemed like hours, while the second was a glorified highlight reel that leaned so heavily on nostalgia for the original trilogy that it did everything short of fall to its knees and beg you to remember why you used to like Star Wars. But teasers can only take you so far, and we we all knew that sooner or later, they'd have no choice but to give us an actual full trailer. And here it is. The trailer opens up with Rey, Lara crofting her way through a jungle obstacle course, getting attacked by training droids and batting them away with complete ease, because right away we need to be reminded, yet again, that she's so much better and more powerful than Luke Skywalker ever was. Then we get reminded that Finn is still a character in this movie, and he talks about how the Force brought them all together. If by Force you mean Disney's Diversity Quota Market Research Department, then yes, my friend, it did indeed bring you all together. Oh well, at least it seems like Rose Tico's gonna be sitting this one out, and oh Fuck no! Never mind, I'm sure she's been promoted to Senior Vice Co-General Admiral Commander Tico by this point, hopefully placed in charge of laundry. Then I guess the movie decides it's time to address the Mary Sue in the room, and we get what has to be one of the most cringeworthy pieces of unironic dialogue ever delivered. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. No, Ray, that's precisely the problem. Nobody knows or cares who or what the fuck you are, because in narrative terms, you're nothing. You're just an empty shell of a character, walking around and saying words, with absolutely no flaws, weaknesses, quirks, traits, hopes, dreams, ambitions, fears, insecurities, or personality of any kind. Nobody knows who you are, and frankly, nobody cares at this point. You had your chance to make us like you in Force Awakens, and you didn't take it. Don't come crying to the drinker about it now. So anyway, she's standing on a platform in the middle of a storm, and who should come at her but Kylo Ren? As if this guy poses any kind of threat to her at this point, when he's already been beaten by her twice over. And it made me laugh, because the expression on his face reminds me of Michael from Hot Fuzz. Ha <laughs> ha! Then a bunch of TIE fighters fly towards the iceberg from Titanic, and a Star Destroyer rises up out of the ice? What the fuck? Then there's the obligatory Palpatine voiceover, where he pretends he gives a shit about Rey and the other blocks of wood in this trilogy, and oh god, please make it stop. This is torture. This is like watching someone taking your favourite childhood toys and burning them. Speaking of which, then we get a scene that teases the prospect of C-3PO sacrificing himself, as if that's supposed to mean anything at this point. C-3PO has been a glorified piece of furniture in this new trilogy. He's barely even had any dialogue or any interaction with anyone, which makes it all the more galling when he claims he wants to take one last look at his friends before he goes. <coughs> Fuck off, trailer! How are these blocks of wood in any way your friends? You've barely even spoken to them, never mind gotten to know them. Then I guess we have to be reminded that Carrie Fisher's been awkwardly shoehorned into this film. Again, notice how she's embracing Ray like they've known each other their whole lives in a desperate attempt to make you care about anything that's going on. Then the broken, desiccated husk that is Mark Hamill gives his obligatory voiceover, telling us that confronting 
Fighting fear is the destiny of every Jedi. Well that's good news then, because Rey doesn't experience petty human emotions like fear. Because fear implies weakness, and we can't possibly have our strong female protagonist showing weakness, can we? Then there's more shooty shooty scenes where everyone pretends like they're having fun, and then wow, it's like the charge of the light brigade in here. Because, you know, a bunch of idiots mounted on horseback are the bane of highly advanced infantry supported by artillery and armour. Then, oh Christ, we have to see Rey standing in Palpatine's throne room from Return of the Jedi. Is there literally nothing you won't desecrate in your relentless quest to make more money, you absolute hack? Then there's a shot of the Emperor floating towards Rey like he's gonna land on her or something. Is he real? Is he a force ghost? Is he a hologram? Does anyone even care? Oh no, I wonder if our invincible and unstoppable protagonist can possibly prevail against a decrepit old man who was only resurrected and shoved into the trilogy at the 11th hour because some absolute tool thought it would be a good idea to kill off the series big baddie in the second movie. Then the trailer finally stumbles to a halt with a joint voiceover from Luke and Leia about the usual force being with you crap, which I guess means that Leia dies and becomes a force ghost in this one. How shocking. Well, that's not the only thing that died with this trailer. Any lingering hope that this movie would be something more than an unmitigated cash grab disaster promptly died along with it. This is a movie that looks like it's gonna suffer from all the problems I predicted it would. No real sense of identity, a heavy reliance on nostalgia and legacy characters, because what we have now is so completely lacking in personality and interest that there's nothing left to work with. A theoretical antagonist that still isn't allowed to pose an actual threat to our invincible hero. Hero, teasing the death of a popular legacy character who's had nothing whatsoever to do with the new trilogy because god forbid you'd have the balls to kill off someone like Finn, Poe or Rose. Magically resurrecting a former arch antagonist and pretending like he's been behind everything that's happened so far. Magically resurrecting a fleet of classic Star Destroyers because nostalgia. Magically resurrecting the Resistance fleet which got reduced down to one ship and about a dozen personnel in the last movie. This entire trailer smacks of desperately trying to create something from nothing. Trying to tie up the hopelessly severed plot threads of this disastrous trilogy into some kind of coherent narrative. Trying to create a worthy antagonist for the hero to face when all the previous ones have either been killed or neutered. Trying to create meaningful stakes and epic battle scenes when both sides' offensive capabilities have been whittled down to almost nothing. Trying to create interest by working in as many references to the original trilogy as possible. Let the past die. Let the past die, eh? Bet you're not saying that with the kind of smug self-confidence you did before, are you? Anyway, the only thing that really needs to die in this aborted, misguided, narcissistic, nihilistic, creatively bankrupt attempt to replicate the work and success of far more potent minds is this trilogy. And die it will. You've stood upon the shoulders of giants, my hack friend, but instead of seeing further than other men, all you've done is topple off and fall flat on your arse, and the drinker will be there to laugh at you when you do. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Go away now!